This workshop is uh, organized by Society of Indian Automotive Manufacturers, CIM, which is an industry body, uh, which uh, <coughs> is the platform which the industry uses to talk to all the stakeholders, including the government and everybody. And uh, within CIM, we have a styling and design committee whose job basically, one of the mandates is to work with uh, academia or the design schools uh, to help explain what are the expectations of the industry when uh, the students pass out. So this is a format that we evolved about two years back where we said in every quarter, one, four times in a year, we'll hold workshops in different parts of the country. Since a number of these students are actually going to be our future employees, we want them to uh, see how things work, uh, understand the processes and uh, essentially hit the ground running whenever they uh, join the company. Two years that we have done, we have found these workshops to be very productive. And the fact that today we have nearly 60 students in this workshop in Pune shows that there is a high level of interest in this. It's a workshop which has got two different uh, streams. One is the work that they do based on the brief which has been given to them. Secondly, we also bring in people who can speak on different subjects related to the area of the workshop. Firstly, what we'll expect from you is to come up with some sort of a viable package. So while the brief is very open, it just talks about three kinds of products. So in this particular workshop, the theme that we chose was that of uh, smart city mobility solutions because that is the flavor of the season. I mean, that's something everybody's talking about. And also from a student's point of view, they, they want something that they find interesting and challenging to work on. So we are actually going through a workshop where we are given a brief of uh, designing three vehicles, uh, three types of vehicles, of which two are hybrid four-wheelers and one is 100% uh, electric two-wheeler for the urban mobility. So basically we are looking at different cultural aspects of India and then trying to ideate on a particular form. It's not only about creativity, it's not about just designing a thing. So it's basically about how well you understand the user. It's about predicting a problem and solving the problem and giving a design solution on it. Initially we started off with each person sketching their own um, concepts and then today morning we took an evaluation, we narrowed it down and we cut down to one final uh, design direction. Few people are working on the city, city background and like creating the scenario for the future and few of us are working on the on ideating the vehicle itself. The students will actually make presentations to the industry people to say what are solutions that they could think of. It's very easy to think of something in your head. Question is, can you externalize it? Can you sell the story? Ultimately, coming to the smart city scenario, you have things like connectivity and sustainability. How well it can connect or can the vehicle be used to do multiple things when it's parked or when it's not in use. You're talking about a social existence and you've got a form which actually supports your thinking. You know? So, it needs to sort of tie in in that manner, right? What we are aiming for is creating a solution for the last mile. So in a, in a smart Pune, we'll have uh, mass transit uh, inset, like the BRTS, Metro, Local Rail. And what we aim to do is uh, put those hubs, those bike sharing hubs at the key points. And this is the final render where we uh, visualized our uh, product to be like this, with a sleek and slender uh, look with a you know, uh, uniform thickness. It's a delivery vehicle. So what was the uh, thing we could deliver in this city? Since it is going to be, going to be a smart city, something People would need it uh, in regular basis, it has to be delivered to them. So to make it adaptable, it has to be flexible with surface and in intelligence also. Yeah, in uh, Bombay, uh, these dabawalas, they go uh, taking these carriers inside the train also. The scenario how it works is like uh, when he is going in the train. So when he has to lock this up in the train, he just moves this, the whole carriage is shifted front, the chassis becomes shorter and you just push it in the tail. For all of you, I would say the background research is quite effective. 
I think you've uh, managed to sort of pin down the essence of the brief in that extent, you know, the things you've picked up. But somehow it's not connecting right now, which is fine, so don't, don't get disturbed about it. The whole point is the start has to be good and then through discussions like these, we start honing down on what is relevant, what is appropriate. The major takeaway which I see from this course is that learning how to work in a team while also trying to come up with uh, interesting concepts. This is a good, you know, startup uh, exercise for us, giving us a clue that how the how things will be working in the industry. This might help us in the near future uh, to predict what trends are coming into. The main benefit, of course, is uh, the simulation of an industry environment. Uh, we are given the set target. We are given a deadline. So, and it's a very good opportunity for us in this workshop to uh, meet a lot of people from other colleges. It's quite interesting for us also to interact with people from Tata and CM. Today, the competition is not at the India level. Competition is global. So their portfolio will be reviewed with a portfolio from Sweden, with a portfolio from Spain, with a portfolio from Detroit. And they have to be the best in the world.